where he informed me that his passport had expired and uh, he had a flight to catch today. But being the dedicated guy that he is, he jumped through hoops and got himself here. But you got to tell him the story about how that all came about and uh, how you managed to get a passport and get to the airport on time. <laughs> it was really cool. I, you know, I, I called this girl that I'm seeing and she said, well, do you have everything ready? I'm like, yeah, because I'm a light packer and you have your passport. I said, sure. March of 08, has that passed yet? <laughs> yeah, it's passed. So I went into a panic and um, I got to the post office this morning and they said you have to go to the passport office, which is the other side of town, downtown. I got there, they said, this is not going to happen. You know, you're not going to get there today. Just resign yourself to that fact. Okay. Then I go to the next window and, and, and it's a, a black woman and she's like, and I said, um, I have a problem, a really big problem. What's your problem, honey? I said, uh, my passport expired. I have to get to Toronto. I have to get there. And she goes, hold on. And this Asian guy comes up. Now, Thank God for blacks and Asians. <laughs> this Asian guy comes up and he goes, I just saw you on Law & Order the other night. Can I have your autograph? I said, sure. I had my passport 10 minutes later. <laughs> Alright, so during the course of this shoot, you guys were under some interesting conditions, weather-wise, and uh, in terms of working with special effects and a large uh, cast. Um, I'd like to get a few impressions of, you know, just how difficult the shoot was. What was it like being out there in Stewart, BC, and uh, making this movie? Well, you know, it's a funny thing about pain. You forget. You know, after it's gone, you don't feel anymore. And I was watching tonight, and I had this sensory recall of just how freezing, bitter, ice cold it was out there. Now, come on, let's be fair. Most of it was shot on a soundstage in Los Angeles, where we were sitting in the parking lot smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee. But the few weeks that we were in Hyder, Alaska, and Stewart, it was bitterly bitterly cold, like your nostrils freeze up, you can't breathe, you, know, you can't see, it freezes the water in your eyes, and how the crew toughed it out is, you know, really a, a testimony to John Carpenter, and the one quick story I want to tell you, is the most impressive story, I think, of the whole shoot, we had to fly into Anchorage from Los Angeles, right, so, we get to Anchorage and we have to take a bus out to Hyder, Alaska, which is on the border of British Columbia. And it was the crew and the cast on this bus. And we're all like drinking and partying. You know, it's a big party. You know, we're on a bus. It's like school. <laughs> and um, we go through a blizzard. And this was a fierce, serious blizzard where you. you, you it was, it, impossible to see 10 feet in front of you after a while and we're driving on these mountains you look down and there's nothing down there I mean it's rocks as far as the eye can see so we're driving driving all of a sudden the bus slides off the road so here we are check this out a bus full of actors and a crew hanging over the edge of a mountain And we're like, hi. And, you know. <laughs> so Kurt Russell kind of takes over and becomes McCready. <laughs> He's like, okay, everybody, sit still, don't move. <laughs> we're all sitting there. And then he's like, one at a time, starting from the front of the bus, get off. And of course, I was in the back of the bus. <laughs> you know, like windows, I was like, <laughs> So we get off. One at a time, we push the bus back on the road, and we drive all night until we get to our destination. And there, it was 5 o'clock in the morning, is John Carpenter, having no idea, this is before cell phones, no idea what we'd gone through. He was just waiting for his men. And he stood there in the freezing cold. The bus pulls up. He shakes each one of our hands as we step off the bus. And I thought to myself, 
That's character. They say a good director is a good person. And that's something I'll, I'll never forget about John Carpenter.